Andrew Campbell will kick off for the first time this year. He squibs it, and it scoots toward the end zone, picked up by Brandon Brooks. And he is popped as he gets to the 16-yard line by Derek Pegues, number three. Thanks, Tracy. First down from the 16, perhaps the 17. That's D.J. Hall in motion. Play fake, Brody Coyle. And he connects to Keith Brown for a big gain after the 36-yard line. That's a pickup of 20. Now Glenn Coffey, number 38, is in. McLean sets up to the left. Here's a quick setup, and the ball drilled. Catch. Oh, yes, it was. That, that thing was on a rope. <laughs> well, out of the gun on third down and nine. Stunts by the Mississippi State defense. That pass is caught by D.J. Hall at the 40-yard line. Very close for the first down. Alabama offense, they've not been able to get it into the end zone in SEC play. Here's Coyle off his back foot, picked off. There ends a streak, and it's intercepted by Jeremy Johnson. His first interception of the year, and only the third thrown by Brody Coyle all season long. After the change of possession, illegal block below the waist against the return team. The field is 15 yards from the end of the run. First down. He does have a useful look. Third down, Henning. Straight drop back. Drills it. Caught by the fullback, Bryson Davis. That's very close to the first down. He's a guy who has speed. He took it 50 yards for a touchdown on the third play against him last year. Demarcus Johnson into the lineup, number 33. Here's Hennig. And that one is a line drive caught. Second down. Midway through the first quarter, here's Hennig again. He's got time. Oh, boy. Ouch. <laughs> Freddie Roach, the middle linebacker. Oh. And when uh, Cutcliffe was let go up in Oxford, McAdams changed his allegiance farther south to Starkville. Here's McAdams. That one taken by Brandon Brooks. Dodges under a tackle, which is not difficult to do with 5-5. You're right. <laughs> they want to keep the safeties deep to help the corners, so they have to be able to stop the run with their front seven. Darby on the draw. Comes right. Breaks a tackle. Skips up the sidelines. Out of bounds at the 21-yard line. Here in Starkville, second down and seven. Here comes the blitz off the corner. Coyle fires it out. It's caught for... What a go! Oh, a fumble now. I don't know if yeah. they caught it down yet or not. They did I not don't see anybody signaling anything. The catch, the fumble oh, now. The line judge yeah. has his right foot out at the 31-yard okay. line. Third and seven here in Starkville in a scoreless first quarter. Coyle gets it. Three-man rush. He steps up. Oh boy! Is that yes, it, is. Pass, it looks like it. Yes. Excellent pressure. J.B. Klausner a little slow in getting up, reaching for his leg, but. The pressure was there. Personal foul, face mask on the defense, number 58. Phil is 15 yards from the previous spot. First down. It's called on Michael Hurd, but the uh, attention being paid to J.B. Klausner now. A gain of four. And it was last year, we mentioned earlier, a 200-yard effort for Darby. Gets a quick handoff, and again, he uh, swivel hips his way inside the 45 to the 43. And now with him out and Castile out, we've got a whole new separation. On third down, here's Darby. He did one. Sometimes curveballs go low on the outside corner. On first down. Right side. Caught. Beautiful throw. DJ Hall. And off Darby. Met up high at the 31 yard line. Tackle made by Quentin Culbertson. So they've had it for a long, long time. Here comes the blitz. Coyle hit. It goes left. Is that a fumble? Yes, it was. And here goes Titus Brown. Caught and dropped at the 18 yard line. Willie Evans with a hit. Titus Brown with a fumble recovery. And ironically, Omar Connor began his career at Mississippi State as a wide receiver. Here's the option. And Omar Connor to the 11-yard line where it will be third down as we begin play from Starkville, Mississippi. They must not have liked the way he looked in pregame warm-up. 
because this is fourth and three. Not fourth and an inch, fourth and three. Norwood behind Hennig, who is back in the cockpit. Chris McNeil is the center. Play fake. He rolls out to his right. Being chased, drills it. Oh. Dropped. Sylvester Croom telling us yesterday that Jarius Norwood had great yeah. hands. Alabama undefeated. Mississippi State, two wins on the year. Winless in SEC play. Here's the power run to the left side. And uh, Antoine Caldwell was out there to help. And Darby, wonderful job of maintaining his balance. Stunts defensively. Coyle flushed right. Finds a receiver. It's Ezekiel Knight. He's out of bounds. It'll be fourth down. Well, let's see if Todd is still smiling in a couple of minutes. You can't afford mistakes mental mistakes in a game like this if you're Mississippi State. Dead ball. Personal foul. Late hit number 13 on the defense. The field is 15 yards from the end of the run. Automatic first down. Here's Croyle. Flips it. Caught by Darby. One on one out on the edge. Out of bounds. On, first and 15 with under 11 to go first half. Draw play. Well timed. Jimmy Johns from Brookhaven, Mississippi. Flag at the end of the play. He's down at the 14. There could be a face mask involved here. One touchdown in the last nine quarters in SEC play. Third and eight. Blitz. Coyle. Caught. Back. It'll be fourth down as Mississippi State stiffens. Jamie Christensen from 37 yards out. Hero of wins over Tennessee and Ole Miss. He's 10 of 15 for the year. This one on the way. And he calmly knocks it through from 37. Derek Pegues is the deep man. He will not be able to return this. He'll take a knee to come out to the 20-yard line with 8.31 to go. And a flag out near the 25-yard line. It just hasn't, uh, there hasn't been a rhythm established yet by Dead either ball. team. Personal foul on the kicking team, number 55. Because the play was a touchback, the Philly will be penalized from the 20-yard line, 15 yards. First down. That would have been his third. It is third down. Play fake, Hennig fires it, caught it. First down, yes. What a nice throw by Mike Hennig. He almost gets picked off. And see, that's the intangible. Last week against Utah State, Mike Shula employed two men back on punt returns. This time it's only Brandon Brooks. He lets it go over his head. And that will be a touchback. And you better block Willie Evans right up here. Draw play. It goes to Coffee. Busts up the middle. Boy, that's, uh, that's going to be close. He might have picked it up on third and seven. Yep. Jimmy Johns is on the field now, number 10, a tailback. He gets the handoff, and they come left. Antoine Caldwell leading the way, and Johns spilled at the 43-yard line. It's third and nine. Alabama leads by three. Mississippi State sends four. Coyle with time. He's got a man open. It's Brown. He's got the grab. It was a sensational catch. Under three to go, first half. Coyle, play fake, pump. Chased by Willie Evans, side arms it to D.J. Hall at the 7th, uh, the 13-yard line. Well, I think the first thing right now is that Taylor Britt, the center, needs to make sure he makes a good snap. They can't afford a bobbled exchange here on fourth down and very short. Ball popped out, right to Darby. Wow. He popped the first down. Brody Croyle had the first down. Uh, Brody Croyle should get his guys in the huddle right now. There was now. a fumble on the play by the quarterback. By rule, fourth down fumble, the ball comes back to the spot of the fumble. Therefore, we'll measure at the spot of the fumble. Just herky-jerky stoppages of play. And here we go. It's going to be short. was 16 of 31 in that game. And they'll keep it on the ground. 
Apparently content to uh, head to the locker room down by only three. Jarius Norwood with a carry. Well, reason for optimism if you're Mississippi State. Michael Hennig, the redshirt freshman. Three nothing at the break. Alabama, 37 yard field goal from Jamie Christensen. That play could have been reviewed to see the spot and to correct the spot. It was reviewed to make sure it was a fumble, but they didn't review the play to change the spot or to make sure of the spot. So uh, very, very interesting happenings there at the end of the first half. Quite. Here's a high kick by Christensen taken by Derek Pagese inside the 10. Football picked up by Alabama. Touchdown, Matt Miller. The third generation Alabama whiteout. How do you do? That happened the other night. Second the game. Two plays in a row. Touchdowns. Here's Pagese at the goal line. And he is going. The flag is down. Two flags, as a matter of fact. During the return, illegal block in the back. On the return team, number 18. Bill is half the distance to the goal. First down. Second down and eight. And again from the eye, and they hand it to Norwood. He tries to dance it outside, being chased by Anthony Madison. Norwood with his longest gain of this ball game. I know it hurts you. Oh, man. mercy. Well done. Oof, though. <laughs> Hennig being chased, lobs it out, intercepted. And here goes Rudy Griffin. Second down and eight. Hennig with a play fake, and the blitz is on. He flips it out to Norwood, and Norwood spilled as he crosses the 25. He is... Uh, Going to be downed at the 30-yard line. Tackle made by Charlie Pembroke. But he was not offered a scholarship to Auburn and accepted a last-minute invitation to play football at Mississippi State University. Norwood got the first down. Yeah, he had actually committed to play at Louisville. Blake McAdams on to punt on fourth and eight. Uh, two men are back now for the first time in this ballgame. This was a uh, formation they employed last week in the win over Utah State. And it'll be Brandon Brooks who gathers it in. He's got uh, Castile in front, but he can't get there. Nice downfield tackle. Here's a first down and ten. And off. And Kenneth Darby out to the 37-yard line. You know, it, was, it was one of the great upsets ever, yeah. Mississippi State winning that. He's probably just going to be happy to have a little space, maybe, mm -hmm. catching a punt instead of taking it out of the backfield. Shots, nice, high, and quite deep. And Norwood will let it bounce, and it comes to the right. Touchback. Michael Hennig, redshirt freshman at quarterback. Under Chris McNeil, the center. Dances out to the right, on trouble, and caught and dropped. So things are going south for the Bulldogs here. Third and 19. <laughs> and here is uh, Hennig, drills it, nice catch. And the catch is made for a first down. Dead ball, personal foul, oh. late hit on number 96. The field is 15 yards. From the end of the run, first down. Quantity's big with him. Quantity is big with him. Third down and ten. Oh Intercepted. God, pick. Picked off by Castillo. Wow. What a great interception. I thought this was a pretty well-thrown ball. These guys aren't as talented as the next two defenses that Alabama will face in LSU and Auburn. This one considerably shorter. Fair catch called by Norwood, and he takes it at the 14-yard line. He has started his first game of the season. We saw Omar Connor for just a play in the first half. There's Hennig. Flag is down. Hennig running. Nice play, but I'm afraid it's going to come back. Yeah, I am too. Holding on the offense, number 53. The field is half the distance to the goal from the previous spot. Replay first down. Here comes the rush. And that ball was 
was tipped. So there is no roughing the kicker penalty. It was tipped and down at the 24, and it was Simeon Castile who got there, Todd. They need to score a touchdown. They've got to get something confidence-wise for their offense, put it in the end zone. Then we may not see Brody Croyle anymore after that, but they need to score a touchdown. Here comes Darby inside the 20 to the 17. There is a fumble. And I think they're going to say he was down. Second down and three. Blitz coming, and Darby tries to work it outside. A nice job of avoiding the initial contact, and he's going to be close for a first down. Coyle looks it out incomplete. It'll be fourth down. But it was because of and pressure. Coyle, Coyle is down. Boy, he hops up. Yeah, he's oh. just mad. He, he's not hurt, but he's mad because on that kind of a play, you should have time to make the throw. Jamie Christensen for the second time in this ballgame, 32-yard effort. And he hooks it. Wow. Christensen, who won the game at Ole Miss on the last play of the game, who won the game against Tennessee on the last play of the game, hooks it badly from 32. Connor ineffective in the last three. He's also been bothered by tendonitis, and that is one of the reasons for the quarterback switch. Here's Connor back. Much more elusive than is Michael Hennig. My goodness. Oh, sundial moved. Delay of game. On the defense, number 37, doing a non-football act, filled his five yards, remains fourth down. I like your guess. Fourth down. Brandon Brooks. Personal foul, face mask, against the kicker team, number 48. Fulfilling is half the distance to the goal from the previous spot. Replay fourth down. The Alabama Crimson Tide. Brooks at the 46. Down at the 45-yard line. J.B. Klausner taken to a local hospital with a fractured fibula and Taylor Britt is the center now. Here's the handoff to Darby and uh, Darby breaks into the secondary inside the 30 and then they've got to have some wide receivers step up and make some plays as well. Draw play Darby after that 19 yard gain here goes Darby to the 13. It's first down and here's Coyle back who's in the right corner for D.J. Hall. Kessel intercepted. Excellent play by Dockery. I mean, he just outfought D.J. Hall for the ball. Second down and ten, and uh, Hennig will go from the spread formation now on second down. And Alabama brings four. They hand it off. He get right by Mark Anderson, and Norwood comes to the near side, and a flag is thrown. I think this is going to be a face mask. After the personal foul, a first down out at the 38-yard line. Bobble and Anderson throws it away as he's hit. That's a lateral. It's picked up. And here goes the Miko Ryans. Now they're saying it's an incomplete pass. I thought the official was letting Ryans pick it up and go. There is no flag on the play. The quarterback is zoomed down. He's zoomed down. It's a spot right at the spot. Be second down. On fourth down, here's uh, McAdams. Nails this one. And it chases Brooks all the way back to the 20. Oh, wow! Oh! How did he hold on to the football? Gracious! And they have missed, uh, missed him more than I thought they would. Here's Darby out to the 40-yard line. It was not Darby, it was Jimmy Johns, number 10. They have really struggled offensively, won that losing battle over Tennessee 6-3, to three. defeated Ole Miss 13-10. to 10. Really, only the Florida game was the only right. game offensively that they looked like they were close to hitting on all cylinders. Three wides, Nemeth 
trips. That's tipped and knocked down. Intercepted on the rebound, Jawan Simpson, number 42. It was tipped by Jeremy Clark. You know, they said that the game had passed him by and he couldn't recruit anymore, and I think he silenced both of those criticisms this year. Coyle trips as he goes back, and he'll be down at the 36-yard line. That'll bring up a third down. And they're missing a major element of their offense. Jeremy shots on the punt. Heads it uh, toward the far side. Oh, good punt. Terrific. That'll be down at the 10-yard line. They might give him the 11. Well, for Mississippi State, they're going to go to 2-7. and seven. Alabama goes to 9-0. and oh. First time since 1994, 11 years. And this one nailed by McAdams. And oh my gosh, the two guys back looked at each other as the ball split them. That, that's one of the things I'm saying. That the punt team and the punt return team right now is a little shaky for Alabama. And this handoff out to the 24-yard uh, line. Jimmy John's 10 for 62 today in his uh, homecoming of sorts. The young man, uh, there's another bobble snap, coiled down back to the 20. That's at least four times since Taylor Britt came on that they've had problems with the uh, center exchange. But then two quick touchdowns, special teams and defense to open the third quarter. Made it 17 zip, and that's where we stand. A fair catch called by Jarius Colwood. Third down. Hennig back. Fires it, and the catch is made out of bounds. He'd been in the car, he'd have been picked up. That's right. <laughs> DUI. <laughs> there we go. Weaving in and out of the lane. That's incomplete. And the ball goes over on downs. And Brody Coyle takes a knee. Well, the Mississippi State defense has done their job today. Uh, Ellis Johnson has to be very pleased because they held this Alabama offense to no touchdown. One field goal, and the two touchdowns the Crimson Tide scored, one special teams, one by their defense. And so the handshake at the center of the field. Sylvester Crew, Mike Shula, they coached together at Tampa Bay more than a couple of years back. For Todd Blackledge and Tracy Wolfson, I'm Vern Lundquist saying so long from Starkville, where the final score was 17 to nothing.